Alright, it's Chris Glover here. Just gonna do a uh, record review today of an album called Hard as Snails by a group called Octave Cat. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do is just play for every track and give you uh, some of my, my initial thoughts on it. Um, to be about probably the second time I've listened to it the way, all the way through. Obviously, I won't play every single bit of every single track, I'll just play bits of each track and then just give my comments on each uh, track as I play them. Okay, uh, so I'll, I guess I'll start off with the first track, which is called uh, Wind Up Fix It. So the track just starts off like this. Uh, spooky bell kind of sound comes in in a bit. Uh, it's like spooky bell sounds comes in. Creates a, a foreboding mode, I suppose. Uh, mood, not mode. And then it uh, develops into some beats. It's got some beats later on. With this bell sound and this thing, lots of uh, squelches and squeaks. It's a pretty good introduction track. It starts off the the album well. Uh, not one of my well. I wouldn't say it's one of my favourite tracks, but on the album, but it's you know pretty solid track to start the album with. So I've got the second track now, which is called Lager Bullin. Uh It's one of my favourite tracks on the album. It starts off very like with crunchy beats, uh, and eventually like this distorted voice comes in. If I just Yeah, it's a started voice talking some talking about something, I don't really know what. <laughs> uh, just like listen to it for a bit. Sounds a bit um you can hear a bit of a hip hop influence in the beat. Sounds a bit like hip hop ish that he does at this point, anyway. Starts getting a bit more glitchy as the track progresses. It's like this dark atmosphere kind of comes in uh, with the you know this, these synthesizers, is very quite dark sounding synthesizers. I like the atmosphere it creates the uh, from about uh, one fifty onwards. Uh, good atmosphere, I like it. And this bit here, when all the beats go all kind of glitchy. So that's a good track. One of my this is one of my favourite tracks. Even though it's one of the short tracks, it's like only two fifty minutes. Two minutes fifty. It's one of the best one of the better tracks I think. Next one's a very good track as well. Uh El El Carey Sullabay. Sullabay. Fitness I say it, pronunciation. <laughs> uh I was getting a kind of uh, music tango and vec teeth uh, vibe from this track. It's quite a spacey, it's expansive. Uh, with some nice like beat work as well. The beat's quite nice in this track. Uh, yeah, I mean, 
this one this one probably one of my favourite tracks on the album. It's very uh space and expansive guys. This is that, that Tango and Vector 2 fiber I was talking about, like this kind of s the sound you're hearing now. Reminded me of some of the stuff on Music's Tango and Vector uh, I can't remember exact tracks, but it reminded me of that. Fast forward a bit so you can hear some more of the song. Yeah, this is a highlight of the album, I think, for me anyway. Uh, this is track four, um, I'm a local. Uh, so it starts with these like, arcade type video game sounds, and like a, a swoosh. Uh, it's like a simple beat running throughout the song. Uh, it sounds to me a bit like an old video game soundtrack. Uh, but this, saying that, this track's not really my kind of thing. Uh, and I think the last two tracks were a lot superior to this one. This one, like, kind of. It's not bad, but it just. I don't think it really goes anywhere. Uh, so that's that, track 4, and now on to track 5, Blaine Wern. This is another good track. Um, it's got some nice uh, glitch going on and some like, moody guitar strumming throughout. Um, also, I think there's subtle layers to this song that I'm not hearing, picking up on the first listen. So only this is like the uh, probably about the second or third time I listen to this album in its entirety. Um, Reminds me this this song for some reason reminds me of a like seaside town, I don't know why. Probably just the guitar strumming I imagine. Yeah, I like the I like the um um how every, it sounds very um what's the word? It's kind of between ambience and uh, chaos, if you will. So I like that track. It's one of my another one of my favourites in the album. It develops quite nicely as well. So we're going to track six now. Our our pr our parpla. So it starts off very dark and moves, you know, you've got these swirling synthesizers. It's like an ambient soundscape almost. Uh, and then the beat comes in about 1 minute 20. 1 20. Right now. I like the way the... Uh, <coughs> uh, You've got this like skipping sound as well. You got like these stabs going on here, like douche, douche. Which makes gives the track a bit of a harder edge than the start of the track. So that's another good track. Uh, another one of my favourites, initial favourites, anyway. So we're going to go on to track seven now, which is Winkle. Uh, not much to say about this track. I don't think it's quite like it sounds quite innocent and playful. It reminded me of a video game soundtrack again. Uh, not one of my favourites. So. It's like it's an alright track, but it's not like anything special.